Flacco's yeah. elite again. Flacco is indeed elite again. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, really from this game, we'll go to the jet side first since Flacco's elite again. Uh, it's really the Garrett Wilson show this week. Yeah, yep. 30 fantasy points. Certainly 14. the topic of conversation. We'll get to yep. the Brees Hall, Michael Carter discussion. discussion. But, um, you know, 102 yards, two TDs, left the game for a minute, came back. Um, 78.7 route participation there. Shows you why he was a top 10 draft pick. Oh, right. Yeah, Just, getting it in. Looked like. Look like, you know, we said it when we were doing his rookie breakdown way, way back in the offseason pre-draft. It was like, man, this guy, I think we had him as our number one wide receiver. Did for a while. Before the draft, and when he hit the Jets, you're like, huh. I didn't know Flacco, I didn't know Elite Flacco was going to be thrown in the yeah, ball. but yeah. Uh, yeah. He definitely looks like he could be the best wide receiver in this class again. I mean, well, landing spot regardless. So... Like you said, I had him as the wide receiver one and then downgraded him. I ended up with a lot of Garrett Wilson this year because I downgraded him, you know, I think the five or six I think, places. I and then the community, community down yeah. put him down to the end of the round, especially yeah. where we were drafting later. Brian Robinson jumped up there. Damian Pierce jumped up there because everyone's so running back hungry and they were getting the love. Yeah. So if you draft, we drafted a little later. Um, Garrett Wilson went a little earlier in some of those uh, FFPCs, but even in the FFPCs, we were still getting them, which they draft like a week after the draft or Mother's Day or something around there. Me and Big Co ended up get with a lot off of Mother's Day FFPC because he's because he's dra- because he was like six, seven, eight, which yeah. was you know probably you know arguably the most all around talented wide receiver in this in this draft. Sure. Uh, so it's interesting. Like, do you, how often do you need to, it's kind of the, do you need to just stick with the evaluation and say, hey, we came away with saying this guy was, is the best. Now, obviously the situation, and we try not to let situation dictate things too much, but inevitably it does somewhat. I don't, I don't let it like really, really drive it down, but I'll yeah. definitely let it drop it down a few it points. Certainly has to, it certainly has to go into the, the calculus. Right. So what are your thoughts there? Like, uh, how, how far did you drop? Garrett Wilson or didn't really drop much at all. I mean, I don't think any. I don't think any of the wide receivers really went to any smash spots. Right. I mean, Burks had a nice landing spot. You like that? And AJ Brown got moved. Had to like that. Other than that, I don't think anyone really went Drake, to a great Drake spot. Really got like, in a good and Drake spot. And, well and he too, pretty yeah. much ended up as the consensus one. Mm-hmm. Sure. Wide um, receiver. I don't have any Drake London shares, but that's. I don't think I. I was off. I will get to Drake. I was off London. You didn't like Drake. I didn't. He, he wasn't my cup of tea. Yeah, which is fine. I mean, what about now? We'll get there. Only dog in town. Um, Pitts. <laughs> Two all targets? right. Let's save it. Let's save it. <laughs> it's uh, definitely not the only dog in town. No, so, but <laughs> seems to be. So Garrett Wilson, uh, you know, playing seventy-eight percent ish. Elijah Moore, six point five PPR points, uh, five, uh, three for five out of the receptions, forty-one yards. Um, Seems like he had more work than that. 95.7 route participation. Flacco was loving this guy last year when he was playing. Any any calls for concern with, with more? Or will it it's just basically just, hey, you had a, a, an okay week one, a little bit slower week two. Wilson was the man. Yeah. Is it going to, is it, you know, you should worried even, about it? should work? even out a little bit. I there. guess the question is, is are you an Elijah Moore guy? I was all, after they drafted Wilson, I was Wilson over Moore. Yes, yeah, see, see, I was going. I think that's that's what led me to drop down Wilson a couple of points because I had a couple spots because I had I, I liked I really liked what Elijah Moore did and I liked their willingness to really just incorporate him in everything that they were doing last year when he was on the field. So in like, connection with Zach Wilson, he's I think we talked I think we talked about this in the wide receiver ranking show that yeah. I had Wilson ahead of Moore in right. the dynasty rankings. Yeah. And I, just, I figured he was entrenched and he's, you know, he's staying on the field a little bit more than Wilson. I, I don't know what Wilson was last week, but he's definitely up in the usage percentage from last week. I think a good, a good bit, maybe 10, 15 percent. Um, and obviously had a great game and showing you, showing you why he is who he is. Um, you know, maybe a, a redraft only owned in uh, 23 percent of Yahoo leagues. Probably so, not anymore. So out there, you know, probably the number one target going to be this week is... Yeah, um, you Garrett know, Wilson. not in any leagues that I'm in. Is he out there? Because people yeah. drafted him later. Ca- a lot of casual fans, but though. yeah, twenty three percent of Yahoo leagues, he's out there. Only I think a two or three percent ad last week. Um, so, so you said he's out there in twenty three percent of leagues. Only rostered in twenty three percent. Oh, okay, so he's available in seventy seven percent. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that'll probably double, if right. not triple. 
Um, so that's that's interesting there. But no no cause for concern with Elijah Moore not trying to bail, get no, out. No, I mean, buy him in Dynasty. Yeah, I mean, you can't sell him after a seven-point game. It's starting to, like, if you could just, you know, obviously Flacco's in there being fairly competent. Uh, yeah. What I, can I, go I, on? But we saw, we just, we've seen, we just saw the commanders be a mass bot, and all of a sudden it's like, holy shit, Carson Wentz. Yeah, because their defense, been, you know, the defense in, sucks now. Right, but I mean, but you got you got a QB in there who's good enough to support two or three guys a week, and it's like yeah. this core of skill position players that they're building currently looks with the Brees and the Carter and Elijah and, Yo, and Garrett sick, Wilson. Like low key, great looking wide receiver core. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, Corey Davis as your wide receiver three is nothing. Is nothing. Right. And he's looked pretty good. He's, yeah. he's, he's been out there kind of just dominating that middle. Yeah. And um, then Tyler Conklin playing every snap this just, past week. Just Ty, the, J- Jason, Tyler Conklin. That's looking my guy. Good. Had a, had some bad drops. That's but. my guy. That was my, that was my, that's my. I, I got Tyler Conklin in so many places. Singular drop, by the way. Um, maybe he got called back, but he had a couple bummers. He had a fumble too. He had a drop and a fumble. Two fumbles, maybe, but one of them wasn't lost. That was it. But still had ten points, and from your tight end position, you're yeah. gonna take that all day long. Tight end premium. That's thirteen points. Right. Charles Breeze by Corey Davis. Seventeen points. We'll, we'll go, we'll go points. back, but you guys just brought up Conklin, so I wanted to give him he his due. He played every. He played he, every snap. He's playing a ton again. Uh, maybe another little waiver wire ad. Maybe don't spend it on him. Also, Zoom is hurt, so. Maybe don't spend He's it on way him, better. but come back and get him for free this year or this week in your waivers for redraft if yeah. you're, or maybe even some dynasty potentially yeah. in shorter benches. Um, but, you know, like you said, playing a ton. Flacco's targeted him the last two weeks. Yeah. Um, he's been steady Eddie, um, and you could be doing a lot worse like Cole Komet out there oh, uh, for your we'll, tight end. We will get into that. Just absolutely just crushing what my was hopes that? and What dreams. was that bet? Over five. I no, no. What was the action? No, you already lost the bet. What, what was the bet? Ah, it's, it's, a, it's a 15 pie, game. Pie left, to the face. Oh, okay. Pie to the face okay. going out, ode to DP show. Who gets to do the pieing? I mean, whoever wants to. I don't care. But You're too eager. We're we're five hundred. I won't draw I, blood. I, I forget what the. I won't Michael Irving. I think it's five hundred yards. Actually, was it five hundred? That's yeah. still very attainable. I mean, if anybody really pops me with a pie, I'm gonna fight them afterwards. So like, you could <laughs> deal with that. Like, I'm okay with with you pieing me to the face. But if you bop me in the face like you're punching me with a pie, we're gonna fight. Like, <laughs> did Michael Irving draw blood on DP? Uh, I don't remember. You gonna fight Michael Irving? I mean, Michael Irving in no situation is going to put a pie in my face ever in my life. So, you know, I think we're all right. <laughs> we're talking about hypotheticals. Who's going to bop you with a pie? I mean, he was saying you looked a little eager. I said, well, I mean, you could catch the hands real quick if you pop me with a pie too hard for losing the commitment. I'd probably let my wife do it. She'd probably get the most satisfaction out of it and wouldn't do it too hard. Um, no, no, we can no, let. Not going, we can not, let. Not going. Not going there. We'll, Comments we'll, I want to make that I will make off the air. <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 catch up to the Comet bet and the Comet. Can we call um, it a cream pie to the face? Mm, whatever you would like. Mm, what kind of pie? I still think you have a shot. It's, 15 it's literally. It's not a pie. It's not really a pie. I,